Okay, here we are heading west on Jarman's Gap Road in Crozet, Virginia. We turn left into the Old Trail development. Here you have some homes in, in this section of the neighborhood that are four fifty to six hundred thousand dollars right now. It's October twenty second or third, um, twenty twelve. That could change and likely will at some point. Uh, homes built in the last two years, for the most part. We're on Old Trail Drive right now. We'll circle around to some of the older townhomes. This community has a mix of homes, both uh, you know, some are 1,800 square feet, which are not so many, but the bulk of them are going to be 22 to 2,400 square feet on average. One of the highlights of Old Trail, apparently, are the, the alleys behind the homes. You have a pretty tight-knit community between them. Left of townhomes, the playground down there. Alleys, soccer ball in the yard, always a good thing to see. This is the village green. A lot of community events here and twice annual camping and they have a Fridays after after five and replicating the Charlottesville Fridays after five. Nice row homes up there. It's Grassdale, if you want to find those. We'll head over to the Creekside section. Crossing Old Trail Drive again, which is a you know, fairly major thoroughfare crossing from Route uh, 250 over to Jarman's Gap Road. walking trails throughout, um, very active community. These homes are probably 2,400 minimum above grade square feet to, uh, say some of them are going to be up to 4,000 square feet. Again, I'm not going to run through the entire neighborhood. Right now, there are about 400 rooftops in here. Um, the, the plan for Old Trail is to have eventually uh, about 2,200 rooftops, which is a fairly massive undertaking in neighborhood. You have various side streets up there, and you have a walking path that goes out to Jarman's Gap and the sidewalks there, which will, which will carry you on down to downtown Crozet. It's uh, 7.55, 7.50 on a beautiful Tuesday morning. Those trucks remind me to mention that you're going to, you know, to highlight what I said before, there's going to be new construction ongoing in this development for five to ten years.
up on the right, it's in the upper Ballard section. Homes there generally, I would say 32, 36, 100 square feet and up, anywhere from the 650 to million range. And some might go up above that. To the left here, sorry for the sun. Uh, it's going to be a 30 acre park that will be proffered to Albemarle County eventually. I'm not really sure when. There is a field down there, the sun's blinding. Um, that is used for you know, soccer practice, lacrosse practice, uh, things of that nature. On the left here we have a pool, well, there's a pond over there. Um, pool, open right now to the whole of the Prozac community. Eventually I expect that will be closed off and made private to the Old Trail community. Townhomes here that are built by Craig Builders, one of the best builders in the Charlottesville area. Pool. Town center up here on the left. Um, this will be another town center as well. You know, it's an addition to it. <clears throat> right now, it has one a fantastic coffee shop, Trailside Coffee, um, and his Pizza, Beauty Shop, ACAC Fitness, uh, DeLuca's Wine Bar. Um, in there as well, you have uh, the massive lodge, which is an assisted living facility, uh, multi-scale assisted living from anywhere from basic you know, assistance to full-on memory care unit. Down there is the golf shop and uh, clubhouse. More townhomes right on Old Trail Drive. More new construction and you know unfortunately I'll set your expectations that all those trees, the beautiful tree that you see eventually will be um, cut down and uh, made replaced by homes with no trees. Um, eventually, hopefully, they'll put in sidewalks here uh, at some point. Because um, beyond those trees is Henley Middle School and Brownsville Elementary, which is an easy walk. You know, some some kids do walk to school, uh, but until there are sidewalks, uh, people feel like it's impossible to walk. Trail is one of the more popular communities in Crozet because it's such an active neighborhood. There's so much going on at all times. Uh, it's a very, you know, very nice community with a lot of activities and uh, nice homes. And coming up here, you're uh, straight across the intersection is Western Rabbit High School. Uh, and to the left is going to be, um, you know, beyond those trees, um, Brownsville Elementary and Henley Middle School.